I'm Lydia, I'm one of the vets here at Auckland Zoo and today we're going to be treating a hawksbill turtle that's come in for treatment. It was found up on 90 Mile Beach and you'll see it's got quite an obvious injury, it's actually a well healed injury. It's come down to us, we're um, giving it some treatment, looking after it here and um, yeah we're going to run you through that process today. We don't have any marine turtles in New Zealand that breed on the beaches, so a turtle on a beach in New Zealand is a turtle that's not well for whatever reasons. This guy got picked up, got brought down to us, and here we work with the Kelly Talhams Turtle Rehab Trust, and um, we're a part of supplying the veterinary care for these guys here at the zoo. We did some x-rays, we wanted to get a really good look at the insides of them as well as have a look at that flipper that was missing and just have a look at what was still there and what parts were there and have a look at the bones and make sure that they're looking alright. The other thing we look at when we're doing these x-rays is what's inside of them. He unfortunately had pooed out some plastic. It's one of those things that turtles can eat when they're out there in the ocean but it does make us concerned as to if there's any more in there. These guys are heavily threatened in the wild from habitat loss. For the hawksbill turtle in particular, the biggest thing is their shells are that beautiful tortoise shell pattern to them and they're the ones that are being harvested for jewellery and to make tortoise shell ornaments overseas. It's really sad to see, you see them alive, you see them like this, they're a beautiful animal. That's where we need them, we need them there, not in a piece of jewellery being sold on the streets. <laughs> 